Thank you, Chris. Looking for a loan? Applying for a new job? Trying to land a new apartment? Your credit score could be the difference between a yes or a no. Thankfully, there are some ways to improve that score quickly. Lauren Lyons-Cole is a personal finance contributor for The Street, and she has some news that we can all use. Five steps to a better credit score in no time at all. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so how long does it take to have a credit score go from, say, like a 500 to a 700? It depends on your situation, but I have seen scores jump in three months from the low 500s to the mid 700s. That's a big jump. Yeah, we have a lot of power over our credit scores. All right, you have five simple tips for us. So the first one seems simple, pay bills on time. Right, which is something that we sometimes forget to do, yeah. especially if you're afraid to open your financial mail, which I've heard from a uh, lot of people. Yes. The bills come, you just don't want to look at it. Exactly. But paying your bills on time is 35% of your credit score. You miss one payment and you can automatically lose 100 points on your credit score. Okay, step number two involves something that a lot of people, it sounds like a fancy term here, credit utilization rate. It sounds very like nerdy, but it's very important to determine what your credit score is. What's that mean? It's definitely a little nerdy, but you know, the bank gives you a credit, a credit card. If they give you $5,000 as your maximum limit, uh -huh. you want to keep it to only 30% utilization rate, which ah. means so you're only going to use $1,500, not the full 5000 It's a little bit tricky. So even if you're paying your bills on time every month, if you are almost to the max of your lines, that's going to hurt your credit score in a big way. Absolutely. That's absolutely. So paying down your, your balances can absolutely impact your credit score. All right. Step number three is check for those inaccuracies on your report. Yeah. And in fact, there are about 20% of credit reports out there that have inaccuracies. So pull your credit report. You can do it from annualcreditreport.com for free. Check it. I mean, even your name could be spelled wrong. Mm. Look at everything. Make sure everything is correct. Okay. You suggest getting a secured credit card. If you can't get a regular credit card to pay off on time, what's a secured card? So if your score is really low, you're not going to have access to a credit card. In that case, you can go to your bank and ask for a secured credit card, which is basically a prepaid credit card. Got it. But it's going to build your credit over time. Now, those things, you know, they're not the best. They have a lot of fees attached to them. But if that's all you can do to get your credit back on track, you got to do it. And finally, you say... To what? Save a little bit? Of course. So it, as you're building your credit score, if you can also start to establish an emergency fund, you're going to have cash on hand so you won't end up in a situation racking up credit card debt. All right. Five simple tips going to help us all out. Thank you so much. And hey, in a couple months, you could be in a lot better position. Lauren Lyon-Cole, thank you. Thank you, Corey. All right.